Hey guys, how's it going? I've been playing a ton of Mordhau recently and really loving it. One of the things I love the most about Mordhau is the customization. There's a vast amount of armors and color schemes you can apply to your characters. So I thought, why not try to make a historical character? For my first historical recreation, I chose Edward of Woodstock, otherwise known as the Black Prince. As with many historical facts, his appearance is somewhat up for interpretation. Mainly, did he actually wear blackened armor? We may never know for certain, but it seems like an obvious starting point, so we're going to run with it. It's also worth noting that humans don't look or dress the same their entire lives, so even though his appearance in modern media varies a bit, there's probably some truth to most or all depictions of the Black Prince. Let's start with the face. Usually he's pictured with a handlebar mustache poking out over his aventail, and sometimes he is fully bearded. Given that his personal effigy on his tomb depicts him with the handlebars, I'm going to go with this style of facial hair, but it won't really matter because I'll be running him with a tier 3 helmet all the time anyway, so it won't be visible. I tried my best to model the rest of his face based off of this image, but I don't have a ton of experience customizing faces of Mordhau, so if you can make a better one, I'd love to see it. For the helmet, I've gone with the Great Helm Band. If you wanted to see his face, you could use the Hound Skull Raised or Hound Skull No Visor option. We could also use the Great Helm Cloak, as he's also depicted some, sort of this way in some art, but I suspect this helmet is more used for tournaments, as this Great Helm is highly decorated and would have been a liability in live combat. Unfortunately, we cannot rim the helmet with a crown, but we could opt to use the band and color it with gold to simulate the look of a crown from a distance. For the tier 3 helmet, we'll want to use the Aventail Titan selection. With the tier 2 helmet, we'd use Aventail Lowered. This one is pretty easy. The Black Prince is almost always pictured with a short circuit with tapered edges. So we'll use the Knight's Draped Curious and put the quarter pattern on it. Here I've used number 37 blue and number 45 red for their vibrancy. But you could also use number 40 blue and number 44 red if you wanted it to be darker or more worn. I originally had Footman's Pauldrons, but I think Florentine Spalders make more sense, as the Spalders depicted on his effigy and in most art are a bit smaller but still segmented. Here I chose Italian arms because the fan braces and rear braces are always shown with a smooth texture and counters are always present. Unfortunately, the counters on Italian arms in-game are a little too large. Hourglass gauntlets are the automatic choice in this category. The Black Prince is basically always shown with gauntlets like these. For the waist, I chose the short chainmail skirt, as it is very close to most of the artwork. Italian leg harness makes the most sense to me. It retains that smooth look on the greaves and creases, while the Paulines have that pronounced look to them. Again, the Paulines are a little large with Italian, so you could substitute Castor and Brust or even Elizabethan leggings if you wanted. Italian sabatons to match the leggings. For the envelope, I use the Fleur de Lis which doesn't exactly match the Black Prince's heraldry, as his was a lot more complicated, but this is the closest we can get and still be thematic, so we're going to run with it. For the tint, we're going to use number 3 black, which you can only get at level 70. So it might take you a while to make this, but when you do, it feels really good. Also, the Black Prince was a rich noble, so we're going to make his armor as glossy as possible, because it would always be polished. For the trim, wherever possible, I've made it gold. So basically the whole armor is just going to be black and gold. You can use the patterns on individual armor to add that trim. I feel like this part is actually quite limited. Of course, you could equip your own Black Prince with whatever weapon would be historically accurate for a knight of this period, such as a mace or axe or what have you. But he's pretty much always shown with a longsword or bastard sword. So we'll go with the longsword, give him a bandage and a dagger and maybe some perks and call it a day. Here's the finished product. I hope you guys like it. As I said earlier, Edward of Woodstock's appearance would have changed throughout his career, so if you prefer the look of the Hound Skull helmet or some other detail, I think you can make a valid argument for it. If you have any suggestions on how to improve the look, let me know in the comments. If you want to see the Black Prince in action, check out my Twitch stream in the description. Thanks for watching.